What's going on all you tech addicts, Jay's Two Cents here bringing you a video about DDR4. Now it's kind of been the buzz with X99 and the new Intel Enthusiast platform launch and I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably getting a little tired of hearing about it by now, but we're gonna talk about something that's actually gonna play into the future of non-enthusiast platforms as well, and that being DDR4. Now obviously one of the things that people are talking about when it comes to DDR4 is the fact that holy crap it's really expensive. Like some modules cost as much as people's entire PCs expensive. But guys that's to be expected when you have bleeding edge technology and there's a high demand and low stock. So with that said I was very fortunate that the guys over at G-Skill were willing to send me a 16 gigabyte kit to put in Skunkworks so that I can tell you guys all about DDR4. Now the RAM modules that they sent me was the G-Skill Ripjaw 4s, and these are actually pretty damn amazing, if I may say so myself. Now the Ripjaws have kind of become a buyer's choice when it comes to gamers and enthusiasts and overclockers alike. It's some great, very versatile RAM. Now enabling the XMP profile on the Ripjaw 4s, we get timings of 15, 15, 15, 35, at 2400 megahertz. I have a 24 megahertz, a 2400 megahertz uh, kit. They are available also in 2133, 2667, I believe 2800. And guys, DDR4 is already surpassing 3000 megahertz. That, this stuff is really, really awesome. And I've heard some people say, well, what's the, what's the big deal? I mean, that cast latency seems really, really high. Now you have to think out of the box. This is a whole new architecture of the RAM. And holy balls, as Linus would say, is it fast? Now I'm sitting here on my test bench with ADA64 going and the memory benchmark. And I'm using ADA64 because when I tried using MaxMem, uh, was getting some funky results. I don't think MaxMem is actually uh, working very well so far with the uh, DDR4 DIMM. So we're gonna go ahead and use ADA64. It has been updated for the uh, DDR4. Now the test bench behind me is a 4770K and I have 16 gigabytes of ADA 1600 megahertz RAM currently uh, overclocked to 2000 and the timings on that right now are 12 12 12 30 as i overclocked the ram i had to re relax the timings a little bit but we go ahead and run the uh, memory read test and we'll see what we get okay so the memory read test is done we've got 28633 or 28.6 gigabytes per second uh, read speed of the ram so go ahead and do a write and then a copy. We'll go ahead and do write, copy, and latency, and then we'll go ahead and compare those numbers to DDR4 on the X99 machine behind me. Okay, so the tests have complete. The memory read, as we already talked about, was 28,633 megabytes per second. Memory write was 29,460 megabytes per second. Memory copy, 26,437 megabytes per second. And memory latency at 51.2. Uh, NS, or I guess that would be nanoseconds. But I want to point out though, I, I mean, you probably can't really see it too well, but it's actually these DDR3 uh, 2000 megahertz overclocked A data dims are actually at the very top of the list on the, uh, the latency. And in fact, they're uh, between they're like top six or top seven on the other tests. Now let's go ahead and do the DDR4 test and see how these compare. Transition. Now before we actually talk about Skunkworks, I want to point something out. The DDR3 is actually overclocked right now to 2000 megahertz up from 1600. I'm running these Ripjaw 4s right now at stock, which is a 2400 XMP profile. So we'll, we'll kind of do a comparison real quick here also on how well they overclock. Now on the memory read speed, we are getting 60,046 megabytes per second read speed. Now, just to recap your memory, the DDR3 over there at 2000 megahertz did 28,633. That's more than double the speed already on DDR4. Now, the memory write speed was a 54,104, and the memory write speed over on the DDR3 setup was 29,460, so not quite double there but still quite the gap, 54,100 versus 29,500 or 460. I like to round, I like to do things simple. Now the memory copy speed on the DDR4 RAM, 56,772, and over on the DDR3, 26,437. So again, more than double on the DDR4. This is pretty amazing. Now what's interesting here is the latency though, 
on this uh, dim, these dims right here is 64,000, or excuse me, 64,000, that, that's not good. No, nah, scratch that. 64.7 NS versus 51 NS on the DDR3. Now that, I think that's gonna come entirely into the cast latency on there and that makes perfect sense. I mean, we're talking 12 versus 15. So the latency on these dims would actually be a little bit slower. But when you take into comparison the data rate of DDR4, holy crap is that fast. Now there's one last thing we need to do here. We are going to go ahead and overclock the memory to 2667 because that's actually the max supported speed on this motherboard. And we're gonna see just how well it compares once we overclock it. We're back now and the dims are now running at 2667 megahertz. And I'm pretty sure there is a lot more headroom in the overclocking of these modules based on what I've seen on some other people's results. So once the X99 classified uh, from EVGA, once that motherboard's BIOS is updated to allow faster RAM, we'll try overclocking a little bit more to see what we get. Now the memory read bumped up to a 64,341 megabytes per second, memory write 54,408, memory copy 61,377, and the latency dropped down to 59.6. It didn't fall a whole lot, but it's still not a whole lot slower than the 12 cast latency over on the DDR3 versus these DIMMs at 15. I didn't mess with the timings. I left the X and P timings where they are. So guys, as you can see, DDR4 has a crap ton of potential. And this is why it's a content creator and renderer's dream. If you do Photoshop or video editing or anything like that, the RAM speed is just absolutely phenomenal. Guys, it's been Jay's Two Cents. Once again, a huge shout out to my friends over at G-Skill for sending me this memory. This was not easy to come by. I understand that there was like some nuns involved and like there was a shootout and, but they, but they came through for me. So guys, thanks. Uh, send me a bill for the damage. <laughs>